So, Eric July's comic universe, the Ripaverse, is here after about a year or so or more of hype. And it's launched with its first title, ISOM number one. And ISOM number one has broken records in its first day of sales, amassing over a hundred or a million dollars in sales. Pardon me. So uh, let's talk about that. Let's talk about the impact it has and, and kind of some of the reaction. Before we get too far into that, uh, if you like this channel, you like the content, uh, please hit like, subscribe, share the video. It really helps us. And now kind of let's dive into this a little bit more. So uh, Eric July is a podcaster. He has a podcast called For Canon's Sake. And he has a lot of opinions about the state of the comic book, or comic book industry. And he is not... Uh, apologetic or quiet about his opinions he lets it out he lets it known uh he also has he's on a certain side of the political aisle he is unapologetic for that if you've ever listened to any of his stuff you know exactly where he stands uh, and you know I, I think this crazy genuine so love him or hate him that's that's what he does and that's because he is he he can get political and even in his podcast uh he talks about a lot of comics and pop culture stuff but he'll also talk about current events and and what's going on in the world and and he'll give his opinion on it and this has made him a bit of a controversial figure to some so but he's launched a, a comic universe the ripaverse and he's been talking about it on his channel for a while and now isom is the first is the launch title the, the launch of his universe and um, it looks cool i mean the artwork looks great I, i'm curious to to see what's about i don't think this is going to be available in stores I think you only have to you can only get it online he's got kind of a curious business model he was talking about where uh, it's very collector focused where you can get the books. Now there's not going to be any second prints and once they're gone, they're gone, uh, which is interesting. It's, it's an interesting take. I mean, obviously if you're a collector of comics, and you want to get in on this, you're going to get in and make sure you get your copy before they're gone. I don't know if that mean doesn't mean he'll reprint them someday in, in like a graphic novel form, collect a, a few of them together and, do that but with that remains to be seen and i want to talk about not just the ripaverse itself but kind of the reaction that's that it's solicited and i want to do that because I've, I've spoken about this before and i have some you know i don't know i got some feelings about it so we're going to switch over to this other story also from Co bounding into comics and this is a comic book subreddit bans eric july's ripaverse comics from supporting or for supporting comics from hate groups so uh, now again, this from Bounding in Comics, Eric July's launch of the Ripperverse Comics was banned by the comic book subreddit uh, or comic book subreddit, which touts over 2.5 million true believers, which I, I guess are, are users, subscribers, whatever. Um, and basically it it has banned them. And then uh, a couple of the uh, con uh, subredditors were contributing the or putting up the. Uh, the launch trailer for the Ripperverse, and they also have been banned from the subreddit. And, you know, this is now I've said this in videos before uh, the comic book, you, the comic book industry, the Western comic book industry, primarily, we are not strong enough or big enough to be this divided as a fandom. So when you've got, um, you know, it's not just Marvel versus DC, you've got comic skate versus anti comic skate and all these other just little subgroups. They all hate each other. And if one creator is known to be friendly with one, they're boycotted by the others. And then they try to get the studios to, uh, to boycott those creators. Uh, even if they so much as look at or accept work from the other side, this, this whole thing, it's childish and it's dumb and it's not good for anybody. It's not good for the comic book industry. It's not good for anybody who's just a fan of getting good books and it's not a fan it's not good for just a variety of the comic book shelves i mean if if somebody were interested in picking up this book i saw number one i think they should have every opportunity to do so and you know what if this book sells a hundred million copies whether you like eric july or not that's just good for the comic book industry we should support anything that's good for the comic book industry so I really do think that all this kind of just childishness needs to be put us put down. I, I understand that people have different political beliefs or people have even just different opinions on who should be who is the real Captain America right now. That's another big fight that's going on with the Twitter mob. Uh, Sam Wilson versus Steve Rogers. Who is Captain America? 
you know what? There, there are people that think Steve Rogers is the only Captain America, and that's fine. He's a, he's a good character. And you know what? Sam Wilson as Falcon was a good character in his own right. I don't know that we needed to turn him into Captain America to make him an official character. I think he already was something cool. But at the same time, passing of the torch stories happen. And, you know, it's always fun when, like, you see somebody, Damian Wayne, in a future Batman story, take up the mantle and, and Batman, how he approaches the role of, of the Cape Crusader. I mean, these stories can be great. So either side can be perfectly legitimate, but we don't need to be banning and doxing and criticizing each other for having the the beliefs or opinions that we do. And just on a little sub tangent, just because somebody thinks that Steve, uh, that Steve is a better Captain America than Sam doesn't automatically make that person a racist. Maybe they're just a fan of the character. Maybe they like Steve Rogers' story. Maybe they like the man out of time aspect of it. Maybe they just like the legacy that he's left behind, and they really just don't want to see him hang up the shield, and that's perfectly fine. And it's also kind of stupid, in my opinion, that Marvel has all these characters running around with the same names. Multiple Spider-Mans, multiple Captain Americas. It's just dumb. Let's get original. Spider or Falcon and Captain America were already two very separate characters. They were fine the way they were. Let's maybe give Miles Morales his own identity. I don't think we need two Spider-Mans. Miles has far and away broken off of Peter Parker's legacy and built his own story, and it can be told with his own superhero ID. But that's just my opinion on that. Uh, back to the Ripiverse. So um, this book could be something that could be good for the comics industry. It sold a lot of copies. It sold a lot of books. It'd be great for comic stores if we could get into there. And, um, you know, it's a book that shows up with a built in audience. I don't see a lot wrong with that. And just boycotting a book or not buying a book because you don't like a creator's politics is, is fine. That's your choice and, and it's perfectly acceptable. But then to go out and, and have an entire subreddit ban the book and anyone who wants to talk about it, that's not helpful for the comic book industry. And banning any kind of speech and any kind of debate is just not helpful in this in this environment, in this country, it just needs to stop. It just, it does. You know, if we want the comic book industry to get back to its former strength, to get back to what it was, to start putting out good books again, one, the fandom needs to stop being so vitriolic at itself. Two, we need to start opening the doors back for some of these creators because there's some great creators on both sides of these arguments. And it's absolutely ridiculous that, a creator would be blacklisted from an, working in an entire studio just because of the way they vote. It's, it's, in my opinion, it's dumb and it needs to stop. And honestly, until it does stop, I don't see any real hope for the comic book industry because even if they start putting out a good product, we are too fragmented a fan base to appreciate it because there's too many people out there who won't buy it because X creator wrote it, drew it, fill in the blanks. But again, my opinion there. So I want to know what you guys think. Um, let, uh, let's try to stay away from the pro anti comic skate stuff. I know these type videos usually devolve into those arguments. Um, that's not what this video is about. This video is just about a comic that's doing well, that avenues are being blocked from it because the creator holds political views. And I think that's wrong. And I think it's bad for the industry. So let's talk about that. And I kind of want to know if you're interested in ISOM number one, if you're going to pick it up, give this comic universe a chance, whether you like Eric July or not, especially if you don't like him, but you're willing to give his comic a chance. I'd really like to hear from you because there's not enough people like you in the world. So um, let's talk about the comments below. While you're down there again, hit like, subscribe, uh, do more pop culture videos uh, each and every week. And we'll try to get some more up soon. And until then, I'll see you at the next video. Bye for now.